Alright, for everyone else that's sticking around, let's check out some of those NPCs. We'll give it a chat up to anybody who's still sticking around. How about you? Welcome home, speaker. Ashen one. I'm Ashen. Okay, Very then. well. Then take note. I'll go ahead and throw a coin to stamina, just because it's my favorite stat. Well, and then we're going to save the rest of it to do some shopping. Uh -huh. Alright, do we have anything in here we need to sell? We've got 50, 200, 400, 800. And soul, the rotted grape wood. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Ever since its establishment, all manner of curses have managed to seep into the undead settlement. The worst of them were sealed away inside a tr spirit tree, but eventually the curses took their toll. Great. So you have a problem, just, you know, put it someplace else. That'll fix it. Right. Anyway. Uh, duplicate weapons. Of little use against armor and tough skills, but quite formidable against enemies with exposed skin. Skill impact. Strike from the left to evade shields and deal a stinging blow that temporarily slows stamina recovery. The shackles of bondage lie deep in the hearts of all humankind. When two-handed... Kaistai are equipped to each hand. Oh, really? Skill Perseverance. Cross arms in front of body to temporarily boost poise. Damage reduced while activated. Caduceus Round Shield. Standard round wooden shield decorated with twin snakes, an ancient symbol of the Great Swamp. Wooden shields are light, manageable, and offer relatively high magic absorption. And it has pair. 63, 52 for magic and physical. Inferior to the East-West Shield. Alright, so we already checked out the Northern Gear. Marah Vest. Garb worn by Marah Knights sent on journeys. This hard leather vest is bestowed only upon proven knights. Knights travel afar to fulfill their sacred duties, but few are ever able to deliver on their vows. Robe of an evangelist sent from the cathedral. These teachers, all women, came to enlighten inhabitants of the Undead Settlement and sent carriers on the path of sacrifice. Grand. Worker Garb. Garb worn by inhabitants of the undead settlement. Official attire for the dissection and burial of an undead. Naturally, the ceremonial significance of such work is long forgotten. Indeed, no one should no one could continue to entertain such hoarders. Interesting. This old ring is named for its decorative green blossom, but its luster is long since faded. Charcoal pine bundle. Quickly applies fire. Temporarily applies fire to right hand weapon. Quickly applies fire to right hand weapon. It does not last for long, but can be used in inventive ways, such as applying it in the middle of a series of blows. Interesting. Lloyd's cleric knights on their undead hunts. All Father Lloyd is long forgotten by the way of white. His hunts have lived on. <laughs> Superstitious practice, hoping to retrieve what was once theirs and more. Who in their right mind would bother carrying this around? Perhaps you need help. Used to transform into something that blends into the surroundings. Little Dust's first sorcerer's staff eventually became a seedling, and then three white birch saplings. The young branch is said to still contain echoes of Little Dust's preciousness. It's confusion. Swordsmen who appreciate a sharp weapon, for they scale effectively with dexterity. Ooh, dexterity specialization. Alright, that's it for weapons, I guess. Oh, right, this is the sell item menu. <laughs> I was actually supposed to be looking for things to sell, and I found some. Such as evangelist gear. Not worth as much as Lothric stuff, but still. Work crap. More work crap. And that's all I got. I will thank you to sell me all of the arrows. Thank you. Alright, do you have new stuff yet, or do I still have to bring that to you? Oh, I should consider buying this key. But after we get Ashen one. Uh, look, see at the rest of our new residents. Transpose and kill makes soul transposition possible. An old transpose and killed from Corland, crafted with stitched crystal lizard hide. Give to Ludleth, Lord of Cinder, to conduct soul transposition. What? This kiln can transpose twisted souls to craft special items with their concentrated essence, deemed forbidden by those unable to make proper use of it. Great. So we have to defeat a Lord of Cinder to actually use that and make boss weapons? Whatever. Burn and shrine bonfire to increase Estus recovery. Undead bones that yet burn. Cast it into the shrine bonfire to boost the recovery provided by the Estus flask. The bonfire cinders are the bones of undead, and a bone that still burns is a fresh cinder indeed. Before feeding it upon death, 
before feeding upon death, one must first pray to it. And then answers our request. That is what neat. Now then, I have Titanite shards to spare. What would I like to upgrade? Ooh, two more points and I could wield this. Ooh, this is a dexterity weapon. I could, uh, I could get fancy with it. Well, we'll consider that later. We should Pretty try the rest of the I don't want to see that. But here? Oh, hey, there's the alert. There's one guy. Anybody else here? Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. He seems really weird. Okay. Huh. I could probably try this out. I've got this intelligence for it, don't I? Yeah, I do. And that's all you got. Yeah, I'll buy that. As I have said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. Oh, new gesture. As I have said, alas, okay, but I weep that though. I just noticed something. Is the plant like growth coming from his pack or from him? be why he wants to die or was prophesied that he would die draw out then shall we begin bearer of the dark sign let your true strength shine oh oh this is free oh yeah I think this was yeah Clint was telling me about this this guy will give you free levels uh, he said that ultimately you could get up to five. Uh, he was saying that uh, yeah, I had to be careful with this NPC though, or he would kill himself. Which, having met him, makes sense now. Uh, but we'll hang on to this until I can get all five of them, I suppose. Be safe. Wonder if I should check in with him frequently. Every time I kill a boss, make sure he doesn't gonna go himself. Ah, here's the pyromancer. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. Is everybody always talking about the pyromancer? As promised, pyro. I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you will need a flame of your own. Thank you. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. A joke. Learn Pyromancy's purchase item, Reinforced Flame. Crown, garb, wrap, and trousers. The entire Pyromancy of the Great Swamp comprised of a leather crown and animal bones. In the Great Swamp, it was thought that adorning oneself with natural fauna would provide protection from the flames of pyromancy. Mm, no. Bronze was used ritualistically to ward off evil spirits and keep darkness at bay. Life of a pyromancer is a life of endless trudging through marshland. Lovely. Doesn't seem to have spectacular fire resist like the previous pyromancer sets used to. So I'll hold off on this. Learn pyromancy. Fireball, Fire Surge, Great Combustion, Flash Sweat. 
Oh, they have requirements now? Powerful giant flame in hand. Powerful, simple. Pyromancy is to at once know fear and longing, the resultant power of which depends on both the caster's intelligence and faith. Pyromancy of Cornix the Great Swamp. Cornix is a venerable pyromancer of an older mold, said to have restored a number of spells lost to the past, amongst which is this most well known. Unique pyromancy of the Great Swamp associated with Carmina. Intense sweating, fire damage absorption, an influential pyromancy that internalizes flame, likely forming the foundation for many subsequent spells. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll buy these. Eh, I might have use for free fire reverse, but. To learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> oh, we'll need a pyromancy tome to learn more advanced pyromancies. Oh, really? Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. If this were the Great Swamp and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. Oh, ooh. <laughs> what is the hard way? To learn pyromancy, I know, I know. And <laughs> Do not be gone for what is a teacher without a pupil. <laughs> okay. Did we find anybody else? I feel like... Okay, if they're just going to start filling the cracks all around this area, this place can hold a lot of NPCs. Okay, hold up. We're crestfallen. Wait, is he... I was wondering. Oh, that's, uh, interesting. Anyway, over here I found someone once. He was gone the next time I was here. I'm glad I got it on recording. Yeah, here he is. You are crestfallen. This is like, this sword looks like it's Artorius of the Abyss's sword. The poor wretched souls. Be they lord or legend, the curse shows no mercy. What a sham. The poor be the what? That really looks like Artorius' sword, or at least an imitation of it. So Crestfallen comes out here every now and then to, I don't know, pay respects to this grave? Yeah, it's definitely not the same as his. He looks like he's wielding a bastard sword, maybe? Kind of difficult to tell with its sheath, and I haven't seen what a bastard sword looks like in this game yet. Alright, so that's it for that, then. We'll head back in, and level up. Okay, and if I pop a couple of souls, I will be able to level up a second time. So, decisions! Spear? Or... Equipment load? Roll for the spear. Farewell, Ashen Maiden. Excellent. Glad I got Welcome that right. Welcome, husband. Very well, then. Hey. Farewell, Ashen Maiden. All right, now let's check out some of the things that we have. All right. This spear is eight pounds. It is, however, a spear. But it doesn't seem to have the dexterity scaling that its inferior basic version does. Ooh, and of course... Oh, now that I have 14 strength, I can wield this! Oh, the good old Great Scythe. Yeah, glad I did that. Okay, so the 14 strength is definitely a good, a good move. Alright. Let's see, did this have more or less than Katana? 34 bleed... Then the katana is right here. 34 bleed. So they have the same, so if you're just going for the bleed, you might as well be using the bandit's knife. Let's check out some of the upgrade paths. A real straight sword. Still D in both stats. On the level up. This advances to C, which is a good move. Glad to see that. Uh, what else? That's about it. Alright, so... Considering those. Pretty, I go... <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, though. 
This game has the lovely, lovely feature that I can sample weapons even if I don't have the stats to wield them. What is this thing classified as? It's huge! Great axe. Okay, that makes sense. I only have the stamina to swing this twice. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, this follow-up sweep is a little bit faster. Damaging the durability? No. I don't get it. That doesn't seem to be consuming any... Yeah, it says that the FP cost should be 20, but it's not actually taking it. I don't know if it's actually doing anything because I can't wield it. Alright, and this is probably a great hammer? I recognize that move set for Dark Souls 2. The strong attack is the exact same as the light attack? Weird. Okay, let's try that with a hard strong attack. Okay then. And its skill is spin bash. Bash foes with large spinning motion and utilize momentum to transition into a overhanded strong attack. Oh, do I need to press the strong attack button? Uh, maybe the skill button twice. Have to be a bit faster with it. That would be quite scary. Because that's a heavy hitting weapon, and that skill goes quite quickly. Characterized by savage leaping attacks, its weight makes it easier to break the guard of shields. And the war cry bonus. Good old club leaping attack. far with the leap attacks, that's for sure. Okay. Try out the skill. Let's see if that's actually any different on the one-handed attack. I kind of ran out of stamina. That's really cool. I like that ability, Warcry, and the ability to change up and add a combo by activating a skilled move. 
Uh, is there anything special about the Astora Straight Sword anymore? I mean, it has faith scaling now, but it doesn't do magic damage, and I don't really see a place for divine or what was it called? Occult damage. That was it. Regardless, I don't see anything to do with that. Oh, let's check out the pyromancy flame. And of course, I have no pyromancy equipped. So let's just set my head on fire. <laughs> you can charge the tax up. Ah, you can't put it in two hands. Fire punch. Falcon. No. Okay, anyway. This is something I want to see. Ah, ha, ha, check it out. Okay, so you don't have to buy two of them now. There's just more than one in your pocket. Very cool. Quick jab. Strong uppercut. Huh. And instead of two ambient, you just pull out a second one. Perseverance. Temporarily boost points. Very cool. So that's basically just a block maneuver, or an aggressive block maneuver that increases your poise so that you can just keep bashing through somebody else's attacks. Very weird moveset. Okay. Glad that, uh... Crestfallen isn't here, or he'd be getting smacked in the face. Ooh, what's the charge attack on this look like? You know, this thing probably has a really good range. How does this look? Ooh, that's fancy. And you can do it from one hand without actually putting the shield behind your back. Very handy when you've got a uh, weapon skill shield on. Very interesting. And it decreases the stamina of the one that it hits. Scythe has a bit more unique of a movement set now. See fancy. No follow up? Ah, I just didn't have the button down. Okay. Two handed? Wow, this thing is just. Its swing animation is so vicious now. Ooh. Ooh, I want to use this. I want to use it so bad. aims for the scruff of a foe's neck, and when successful, functions as a headshot, inflicting heavy damage. No critical bonus. <laughs> oh, oh, this is so juicy. Okay, but uh, now that I have the ability to wield it in one hand, I want to see what the who said is this looks like. On this. Kind of slow for a spear. That's right, when I equip this, I get a poison to poise. Ugh. 
It does make me fat roll, though. And that's replacing the sword, let alone equipping the sword at the same time. Oh, that could have gone... That could have gone very poorly. And I think I can extend this. Yeah. Strong attack? Yeah. In case somebody is trying to just barely outrange you for a counter attack. And yeah, you do put the shield behind yourself on that. Okay, interesting. Alright, but you know, thinking about it, if I equip all of my weapons and then equip all of my lightest weight gear, I could try for the Flynn's ring for increased attack for lower equip load. Then again, the thing is still 8 pounds. This is only 7 pounds, though. Only seven pounds. I don't have much weight to work with here, you know. Good old Claymore. Just having a swipe. Okay, let's see. This one is... Yeah, stance. That looks a lot more intimidating when you've got a proper two-handed sword in your hand. They both just cover the same distance, but it looks a lot less intimidating on the Claymore, because it doesn't seem like you're covering as much. Ah, yes, that's what those are. Okay. Four more and I'd be able to use this, which is a straight-up upgrade to this. Oh yes, I did want to check and see what material the Ithril Sword is upgraded with. That is what... Requires Twinkling Titanite. Okay, so I called that in one. That's why it's got a higher base damage. Despite this being upgraded. It has almost the same base damage as this thing, and I've upgraded this thing three, blocks, three times. Pretty... In terms of damage, the Lothric Long Spear goes to 123 and 26 bonus from Sterity. Same thing on the Great Scythe. And it goes from 105 to 115. Oh, and the Great Scythe also has Bleed, which is improved whenever I upgrade it as well. Ooh, 60 durability, though. Eh, but only 80 on this, so... Yeah, I guess durability is a lot lower in this game. I'll have to stop worrying about that as much as I am. Eh, I don't know. I want to use all the things. Eh. Pretty you know what? I'm going to go with this side. Because it just looks so disgustingly wonderful to swing it. And then after that, I'll upgrade the longbow. Ah, did what? Okay. Now then, make adjustments for this. Now this is probably the lightest thing I've got. Uh, technically these are lighter. How do they look though? They look like crap. And they don't even have shoes. I have a thing about not having shoes. I need some shoes. Going barefoot is not okay. What does this look on me? It makes me look fat. I disagree. No. This this adequately covers my needs. It doesn't look too bad either. How's the rest of the northerner gear? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Not as good as the Lothric set, but eh, you gotta work with what you got. 
Oh, we're at, we're at exactly 70% with this. Huh. Well, I'll check that out. Of course, now I can't equip my, uh, my sorcerer's staff without going to go overweight. And that's even, yeah, even if I take off the torch, I can't actually equip the sorcerer's staff anymore. Or the bow, for that matter. So, no, we do need to downsize. We'll just go without gloves still as well. Yeah, it's not, it's a little bit shabby, but it'll do. It'll do. Got some proper decent boots. As a matter of fact, these boots are good for winter. Alright, but that's it for this time. We appear to have finished adjusting my equipment. And it has taken me an hour to do so. Lovely. Going to have a lot of speed-ups on this episode, but this file isn't going to be all that huge anymore. I don't really have to worry about it because, wow, does the new codec record at a massively lower size. Regardless, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.